you guys, I just got off of work. It's about one o'clock right now. Um, so you obviously saw this morning, I worked from six to one and now I'm headed to my apartment and I'm gonna go make some lunch, chill on the rooftop for a little bit and get some um, YouTube stuff done. And then also some like Instagram story content because I'm posting all of my Black Friday promos, like my favorite stores and links to like my favorite things, which I'll also link in this video because my goal is to get this video up before Black Friday. So um, today's literally Wednesday. So I have like two seconds to get this video up for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I need to take care of that. And then also I just wanna catch some sun. It's not super sunny out right now. It's a little bit overcast, but I checked the UV and it's five. So we should be golden. I'm really trying to get my tan on before I head home for like a Christmas break which obviously isn't for about a month because I'm not going home for Thanksgiving since it is way too expensive to fly home. And Thanksgiving isn't like huge in my family. We're definitely more of like a Christmas celebratory family. So I'm excited to go home when that time comes, but I wanna get all golden and tan so that everybody's like, dang girl, I wanna move to Florida now. So I'm like, if I'm tan and just feel glowy and good, I'll look, fresh and just like a little golden chicken nugget. So that's the goal. it's little things like this robe that just like elevate and make your life so much better it's like the best thing I ever purchased it's actually on sale for Black Friday I got it last year on Black Friday too but my little sister stole it and then it got stained with her mascara and it never came out so I had to purchase a new one the other day and I love it that much I'm going to do a face mask because I just need to get a little bit of like household chores done. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna put on like this quick 20 minute face mask while I do some laundry and just tidy up my apartment a little bit because it is quite overwhelming, you guys. I've not had a moment to just really deeply organize, which I probably will end up doing um, after the holidays, to be honest, because it it's just like, I really want my apartment to be dialed in and organized, but like the holidays are just so overwhelming and I feel like there's always something going on and I don't know, I'll be traveling obviously home so it's like I'm just gonna wait until things settle down a little bit and then like deeply organize my apartment and stuff. <laughs> Let's go. 
for this package. I just ordered stuff from Marla Yoga the other day and this is the package that I got. Came so quickly. So excited to show you guys everything. They were having like a pre-Black Friday sale so I think things were like 20 to 25% off and now things are 30 to 70% off so it's a major major sale. I honestly should have just waited until Black Friday but they had some like new launches that I just wanted to get my hands on in case they sold out because Everybody's starting to get onto the Ali Yoga train. I swear it's like my favorite workout stuff. It's so cute because you can wear it like leisurely. You can just wear it lounging around, all of that. And you can wear it working out. It's perfect like uh, workout to streetwear type of stuff. So the first thing that I got I am most excited for is this velvet sweat set. So this is the top. It's a zip up hoodie. So cute. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. I know I now live in Florida, so I don't need to purchase sweatshirts, but I just like live in sweatshirts no matter the weather, no matter the temp. A sweatshirt is like my go-to and I love zip up hoodies and this one is just everything. And then, of course, I had to get the matching pants. And these pants, let me tell you guys, I'm excited to wear these because they're high-waisted and wide-legged. I love wide leg pants like these because they just are so much more cozy and these are a velvet material of course so the sweat set is just really giving me like trendsetter 2021 mean girls mother vibes you know what i mean instead of being in that pink sweat set it's like a new and improved trendy version of it and i'm so excited to wear this it's gonna be my go-to because it's like really lightweight so i could get away with wearing it in Florida, I guess, I don't know, people say it's cold when it's 60 degrees here and they're like dressed with a little puffer vest on, so I think I think that, that can slide. This next sweatshirt I've got is just like a very comfy, thick sweatshirt. It's so nice because it has like a mock neck right here. And this is perfect if you live somewhere where it's more chilly, like Minnesota, for example. I actually had this uh, sweatshirt in gray when I lived in Minnesota and I got it at the Black Friday sale last year for Ali Yoga and I lost it. I have no idea where it went. Um, I think we probably lost it like while moving out of my apartment and like moving out of my family home. Probably got like lost in the mix somewhere but yeah so I loved it so much I had to pick it up again but in this black color. The font on the back is so cute and it also has pockets which is amazing. Oh, and then the last sweatshirt I got is just this one. You can see it on me right now. It just says aloe on the front. And it's like a black on black look, which is very sleek. And I just think it's super cute. I would recommend sizing up in this sweatshirt because this is actually a medium. And usually I purchase like a small in their sweatshirts because they do fit like nice and then a tiny bit oversized. Like they fit very comfortably. But this one, I would have even been comfortable like going with a large because it would have given that like oversized fit. So if you do want this one to be oversized, definitely size up like one or two sizes for that. Um, and then the next thing I got is a top. This has become my new favorite top. I actually have this in army green and I wear it quite often. So I wanted to get a more neutral color because I can never find like tops that look cute with sweats or like joggers. I always just gravitate towards tank tops, but I have very broad shoulders. so. Wearing tank tops sometimes I don't really like to do unless I'm in a workout class or something. So finding a little t-shirt like that is great for styling with joggers or sweatpants. So I'm happy I got that because it's so comfy and just fits so nicely. This next thing I got is a sports bra. Aloe has some of my favorite sports bras. They're very supportive and all the styles are so unique and fun, which is my favorite thing ever because it's just like what if do to work out? I love a nice, cute workout set. So this is what the sports bra looks like. It's giving me very like throwback 80s workout style kind of look, but I really like it. And they also have matching leggings, but they don't have my size right now. So I think I'm gonna wait 
to order those for Black Friday because the matching leggings in this set is the coolest freaking look ever. And then I got a pair of shorts. I've been eyeing these up for the longest time. When I was in LA this summer, I was at the actual Aloe store and I wanted to buy these so badly, but I knew they were having a sale coming up. And this is like an Aloe staple they always have at these kind of shorts and I knew I wanted them in black, so I'm like, I'll just wait until the sale or some kind of sale that they have. So I picked these up and just got an extra small because they do fit a little bit bigger which is something to keep in mind as well, but they're so flattering on. I really like them. Then the last thing I picked up was this hat and I thought I was gonna really like this. I had high hopes, but it let me down because this hat fits so awkwardly. I think it's because if you can see right here, it has one of those like, I don't know, little divots right here. So it does not fit my head right. I'm definitely gonna be returning this, but it's so cute. Like it had so much potential. To work well with me but it just did not go well i think it's because it's a trucker hat i don't know it doesn't say so that was my little pre black friday haul i already know i'm going to be doing some major shopping on black friday whether it's for gifts or just some like things for myself because i do need some like home appliances and also just like room decor and stuff and so many places are having great sales this year like trust me you guys i have been doing my research scouring the internet for like my favorite black friday deals so i consolidated a list of links to some of my favorite stores or favorite items that are going on sale so i'll link all the products in the description box so definitely be sure to check that out because all of those sales will be live if you're watching this on friday or even like i feel like friday through monday everything should still be kind of like on sale like cyber monday kind of thing if you did want to do secondhand shopping i will be posting so many things on my Poshmark coming this next week because I will be cleaning up my closet today and doing a major incredible deep clean. So that'll happen tonight, but yeah, I have so many Lululemon things I'm gonna be selling, some things from Aloe I'm gonna be selling, like just things that I need to not hoard in my closet. Like if I haven't worn it in the last six months, I'm getting rid of it. All that aside, I'm going to head to the grocery store right now and pick up a couple of things and then we will get to cooking dinner because I'm gonna get hungry. I just know it. Right now I'm gonna probably chill and edit for a little bit. Dinner literally took less than like eight minutes, believe it or not. So simple and easy. I just used some smoked salmon and topped that on some like bed of greens with rice, an egg, and then added some of that guac that I got from Trader Joe's today. So good. I have been dreading this all day long and just procrastinating it, but I need to get a good chunk of cleaning my closet done with today.
two hours and I made quite a bit of progress so that definitely feels nice but I have a lot still to go through. I actually ran out of a clothing hanger so I need to pick up some more this weekend to really finish up at least just getting things hung up. And it still looks like super cluttered and messy because I'm not going to actually keep my clothes on these shelves. What I'm going to do is get bins to put them in and organize them that way. I'm going to make like a TikTok and then also include my closet organization in like an upcoming video or something. And this was just like the little prequel, I guess you could say. 